Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my first actual aquarium store. Today, we're out in Aquarius once again, and we are going to be furnishing this place today. I'm super excited for this because we can get more into theme builds. In the last episode, we kind of focused really on progression to unlock this place. And now that we have this, we're going to take our time and do some more awesome builds. I'm thinking this side will be my freshwater side. And then the other side will likely be salt water. That being said, we have this really cool tank here, the exhibition table. I don't know if I unlock. Actually, you know what? Let's just buy this. Never mind. It's not letting me buy this. So I guess we have to do uh, the workbench job at the top right now. So it wants me to buy my first aquarium. So we'll buy that later, though. Still only have two different aquariums I can choose from, which is kind of a bummer. I hope we can unlock some more today. Uh, but this really is the perfect size aquarium anyways. I love how it's telling me this stuff again like I didn't know this when I had my basement shop. All right, so we have time until opening. I don't think we're really going to sell too much right now. Is this tools? Yes. Is there no area to sell supplies now? All right, well, I think we'll probably earn less money here because we're just using aquariums. That being said, the exhibition might be interesting. I don't know. So I guess we'll just build our aquarium and go from there. So what I want to try and do with this one is a flip floating island design. I'll actually show you a picture on the screen now so you can get what I'm talking about. Essentially what I do is put giant boulders on the back backdrop and then I can grow plants on said boulders and it looks like floating islands when you're looking at it from the front. Looks fantastic. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in this game, uh, but it's something I've always wanted to do in real life. So why not start in this game? Only problem is I was really hoping for a white backdrop. I guess we'll do yellow um, just to get something nice and bright. If it kind of showcasing, it's like a sunrise or something like that. Where the hell did it go? Where do my bot things go in this level? Seriously, did it just vanish? Because I'm pretty sure it goes on that workbench. Oh, it's in my inventory now. Okay, so does it automatically go to the inventory now? That would be really nice. Um, huh. I would like to do it on the back of this. You know what? I guess we'll just flip this around. I think we can do that, I hope. Oh, no, that is the front of the aquarium. Um, well, I... I screwed up already. All right, well, that was a waste of money. Thankfully, I get a bunch of it back, and now we have an extra scraper on the ground. So let's try that again. I guess we got to add our backdrops over here. Now, bring it back over to where we build it. There we go. That looks better. All right, I'm thinking these gray rocks are probably going to be my best bet because they have nice flat areas that I can put things on because uh, technically I'm going to have to drop plants on top of them. We don't have soil that we can put on top of these things. So it's going to be hard to get this to look cool, I think. But I'm going to do my best with the rocks that I have at my disposal. Okay, so yeah, we'll buy that one. All right, so I bought a few different types of rocks. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I just want to see what I'm working with here. Can I drop these now? I don't like that it only uses the inventory now. Okay, I got this one pretty flat. It's very hard to rotate in this game. Uh, so trying to get these perfectly flat is going to be fun. That looks pretty good, though. Uh, unfortunately, this is as big as I can make it. So we're going to have multiple different platforms. And yeah, that's the whole idea. Once we get some plants added to this, I think it will look pretty cool. Okay, so something like that for the time being should be good. We'll add a little more uh, to these later. I just want to see if the concept works first. Uh, just from the distance, I'm getting excited. They definitely look floating once we add plants on the ground and everything. I'm hoping they'll look like floating islands. That's the goal, obviously. All right, so I added the water. I'm thinking maybe even doing some side backdrops with some floating rocks as well. That being said, being that this gallery is more open concept where you can go around the aquariums, I think blocking off the sides actually isn't smart at all now that I think about it. Uh, if these were on the wall, I definitely would do that, though. So, yeah, I'm, we're going to build upon this really frustrates me the the freshwater plant selection is still very very lacking uh i don't even have any sort of carpeting plants or like moss i would love to put moss on these rocks so it's gonna be hard to do the illusion of islands with just the stemmed base plants that i have right now but i'm gonna do my best um, I'm just trying to think of what I should put on the rocks, actually. And I'm thinking these water plants might be the best option, maybe mixed with hydrophilia. So let's just buy a crap load of these and see what it looks like. I don't like that it goes in my inventory now. It's tripping me out. We want these very, very small. And it looks like... No! Are you serious? I... Oh, I'm so sad. I can't... <laughs> they go right through. <sighs> Oh, that is crushing. I seriously, I was so excited to do this design, 
I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, I guess it's time to open my shop that has nothing in it. Okay, I guess I'll do that just to see what happens. Maybe I'll get paid. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's nobody in the store yet. There's trash everywhere now. What kind of ghosts are dropping trash here? Nobody came. Nobody loves me. All right, well, thanks, ghosts, for dropping your trash around here because it clearly wasn't people coming here. <laughs> it's so weird that trash would happen anyways with no customers. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! Oh, <gasps> bonsai driftwood. Oh, if I could put that on a rock, that would be so great. It is driftwood. I might be able to hang it. I just noticed these plants are getting very, very red. They, they might need flow in the water before they die. Let's do that. Plant is dead because of the temperature. Well, check out this. Just call me Mr. Green Thumb. Because if I pick this up and drop it, it's good again. <laughs> I, I was wondering why my plants were all turning green again. You just got to pick them up when they're dead and drop them again. That's all you need to know. Well, at least I didn't waste money on plants, I guess. Let's try and check if that bonsai driftwood. Oh, man. If I could put this on the back wall, that would look so cool. $225. I should probably read before I just buy things, but object is touching the glass. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. Dude, if that was able to go there. <gasps> oh, yes. Why does, why do the plants drop through, but this does it? Okay, hold on. If, if we can balance this perfectly, we are golden. Ah, aha, look at that. All right, just don't move the aquarium ever or that will fall. I mean, it's not what I was going for. I would love moss, you know, hanging over these rocks and everything, but a bonsai tree just looks so cool on that freaking rock. Oh, look, another day done, and I still am working on this first aquarium. Let me guess, I'm gonna earn no money and pick up trash again? Yep, that's dead store, and ghosts be dropping trash again. Just, just let me work on my aquariums. These days go too fast now. All right, I can move between stores, though, so... <gasps> Oceanarium? Oh, you jerks. How much is that going to cost me? I think I'm just going to get rid of my basement shop uh, just because I don't have time to go between these aquariums. And yeah, I could definitely sell this for a lot of profit so we can uh, furnish the other area. I forgot about these back aquariums. I have actually a lot of aquariums here. All right, so goodbye. I would like to sell this. So the Oceanarium is 40000 That's actually not as bad as I thought. Oh, I hate getting rid of this one. Honestly, I think I should just keep there, what, that one there for memory's sake. I am so sorry, Oscars. That's okay. I'll just sell you now. Goodbye. So there's a little bit of money at least. It's very tempting to sell that because it's the majority of my money. Now, for the record, I did try and grab it and bring it through the door. Uh, it actually deletes it from this area as well as the new one. So I did want to bring this over, but I can't, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll build a new Uwagumi uh, style soon here. I just wanted to do the floating island one first. Okay, this isn't exactly what I wanted by any means, but it doesn't look bad either for sure. So, uh, yeah, I just, I really wanted the floating islands. I hope they add where you can add plants to the rocks. That would be really cool, but, uh, I doubt they will. Regardless, I'm glad we got the bonsai tree. That actually looks pretty cool. I think I actually, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this rock. I feel, I feel like it's too uniform. I tried to add some texture to it with the other rocks underneath it. Still didn't like it, so, oh, Damn it, that was like my main plant. <gasps> didn't mean to sell that. All right, I didn't even think about the fish I want to put in here. I actually don't know what I want to go for. We got German gold rams. Those guys are jerks. I think I'm going to go for the prettiest of freshwater fish, which is discus. They're also worth a lot, as we saw in the last episode. So I think we'll get both species in here. All right, they like waters of 27 to 30 degrees, though. Is that good for the plants? Okay, it looks like... I don't know if all my plants are going to like this. We might have a few plants dying, but it's okay. Yep, I knew I'd have an issue with some of the plants. Which one's dying? Uh, not really sure. We'll just let it die, though. But as, as long as the fish are okay, that's obviously most important. And I'm going to buy small fish for the time being. They will grow bigger. It's just they're already very expensive, so we may as well. I don't like that it comes in my inventory now. Anyways, enjoy. Do you guys like the bonsai tree? <laughs> Look at them. They're going right through it. God damn it. Even the fish go through the rocks. Oh, there is way too many plants for these guys, though. I guess that's right. Discus don't generally like plants. Uh, they're very skittish fish. Well, that's okay. Hopefully, we can sell these plants quickly. I'm definitely not going to just get rid of them. I hope these guys still breed if they're not fully happy. All right. Join them, fellow Discus. There you go. 
What do you guys think about the aquarium? Same as the other species, just way too many plants in here. That's fine. You guys will love it sooner or later. I think these things are dying. Yeah, that's the thing that's uh, forcibly dying, but that's okay. Anyways, hopefully we can work on this a little bit more later. What the? Oh, I thought there was something on the backdrop. It's just weird shadows. But yeah, there is my discus aquarium. I have to say I'm pretty happy with it with the limited things that I have. Uh, I think I might add one more light. They're actually dark now that I see them in the shadows. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, I'm happy with that. Hopefully these discus breed because I need all the money I could possibly get. All right, so I still got almost three grand. Can I buy this thing now? I just want to see how this works. Oh, it's 5,000. I am dyslexic. I thought it was 500. No wonder why I can't buy it. Well, God damn it. Now I don't want to spend money, but I got to spend money to earn money. I'm definitely going to buy the tool shelf to keep this place more organized. I don't know if we'll get to the exhibition today, but hopefully we do. So we unlocked these cool like lava or glowing stones. I think it'd be fun to do something with those. Maybe just focus on population in this aquarium. I want something that has a lot of stock, obviously, being that we have to sell a lot of fish to profit here. So yeah, I think we'll use this glowing rock to... Uh, did that... Oh my god, the day's over? Jesus, these days go too quickly. All right, well, I guess we'll do it tomorrow, but we'll start working on that. Let's see if they like my one aquarium in this whole massive store. Do we actually see people? Oh, look at that. Six people around one aquarium. They were they were actually smiling though. They clearly love it. Did you guys buy anything? Well, holy Jesus! $674 is actually pretty good for one aquarium. Do I have any fish left in there? Oh well, I do have some algae left, that's for damn sure. Hello? Okay, you, did they did they buy anything? Wait, do they just come and pay like a fee? Is this even a store? Is my whole life a lie? Well, I should have put two and two together. If this place is called Exhibition, it is just to showcase my tank. So I think they pay a fee to come look at them, which is way cooler to me. I don't have to worry about restocking and I can just focus on designs. This is actually great for me because all I really wanted to do in this game was do weird designs like this. I just hope we can get a bunch more unlocks so we can uh, have more selection to choose from because right now, Game's kind of lacking, I gotta be honest. Well, the good thing about this, though, I'm glad I learned that. I don't have to focus on just stalking the hell out of an aquarium, so we can do smaller themed builds, and I don't know what gives them satisfaction. I hope they just like the pretty designs and not just sheer numbers. But yeah, I'm not gonna stock this as much as I once planned. We're going to do something with those glowing rocks, though. Oh, these rocks literally glow. There's a bit of electricity in them. I highly doubt this is real. They're very, very expensive though, but I want like one center. Oh, dude, this is gonna look so cool. It's gonna be like a lava volcano that actually stood up or is it leaning on the wall? That actually did stand up. Okay, great. I was really hoping to get it perfectly in the middle because I don't want a back uh, drop on this one. I want it to look pretty from all sides. All right, so something like that should be good. And Oh, I was hoping to put like rocks around this, but it's probably going to knock it over. This is why we need to be able to bury rocks because it'd be so much more fun if I could... Whoa, this thing is massive. If I could uh, build around this thing like that, for example. But if I do do that, that's what happens. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Okay, well, that's fine. Wait, there's an is static option? I'm just learning of this now? So whoa, 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 whoa. If I put this as is static, can I build it upon it? Like I wanted to. Oh, it pushes it out of the way now. So I'd have to like rapidly put this as is static to get it in there. But I can't do that because I can't pause the game. Well, that's that's useful because this thing kept falling over. Uh, I could definitely get some use out of that, but it's not what I wanted it to be, damn it. All right, I think that I'm pretty happy with. It's got nice height to it, which was really difficult to do with four rock options. It also should look good from every side and nothing is touching the glass, uh, which is a big pet peeve of mine. So yeah, we'll fill this thing up and I got to decide what kind of fish I want to put in here. So I think for this one, I'm going to go for goldfish. It's just, it's already orange and I feel like the orange goldfish will look really cool with it. That or the blood parrot, but uh, blood parrots get quite big and I want this to give the sense of scale. That being said, it's not like goldfish are small either, but we're going to do hopefully a lot of these. I don't actually know if they're happy with a lot um, together. We should probably put a filter on this too before we kill these fish. Now, technically, goldfish are cold-watered creatures, so they shouldn't need a heater. They probably... Oh, crap. I forgot to turn this on. That's probably why. Hold on. I'm sorry, fish. I'm sorry. Hold on. Did he die? Nope. Okay. That... Oh, can he actually survive in this? Hold on. No, I want to look at the fish. I don't want to look at the rock. I don't care about the rock. 
Oh my god, they're so hard to find because they swim through them. No! Are you serious? I meant to click the fish. Okay, thank god that didn't go poorly. All right, put that back on static. Shut up! Oh my god, I'm never gonna be able to... You know what? I'm just gonna put more in. They're obviously not gonna die, so that's good. And I just want to see how many they want. That's all. Oh, god! Oh, I had this so perfect. That oh, This is the problem. It took me... No joke, probably 10 minutes of rotating this thing like an idiot to get it to the point where I was happy. All right, you know what? We'll deal with this later. I'm just going to take it out right now. Only because I want to open this. I need to earn money, damn it. So here you go. We'll fix the rest of it later. That looks so freaking cool, though. All right, I didn't even have time to clean this place. So we're probably not going to get too much this time. But, I mean, any money's good money. Man, we are getting a lot of people in here for two aquariums. And it's so trashy now. Look at that! We actually earned more! Visitor satisfaction was up even more as well with all the junk around. You guys are really jerks. This wouldn't be bad if I didn't have one bin at the edge of my store. So anything over here, I have to walk back and forth like a crazed maniac for way too long. Okay. Now I see that they definitely want plants. Too bad you're not getting plants. Unless there's like red plants that I can choose from. Um, but they don't really care about fish amounts. So I'm going to buy a crap load more goldfish for this thing. All right, it's not exactly the same, but it doesn't look bad. So I got the rocks back down. And we'll stock this with some bigger goldfish as well. There we go. This looks so fitting for a goldfish. This is so cool. I think that should be enough. Yeah, as you can see, fish amounts pretty much near the end. We could probably put a couple more in there, but I'm not too worried about that. I have uh, bigger things to do. I got to clean up this place and obviously deal with algae once again. Because this aquarium loves to put algae on itself, I guess. Oh my god, I just realized... <laughs> How long have you been here? I'm so sorry, little guy. It's a good thing you're a goldfish. They're pretty hardy, so you should be fine. Enjoy it. All right, you know what? We haven't used the... Is there... Oh, I thought... I couldn't see the glass. It's like, is there any aquarium there? Uh, I want to use the square design, though. I have an idea for this. I think it will look cool. I wish it was a bit taller. Now, can we put two on these? No, unfortunately, this massive tape, this looks so dumb. All right, well, it's an art gallery, essentially. It's supposed to look dumb, let's be honest here. But I have an idea. I want to build like a rock totem. I might regret saying that because I literally have to balance the rocks in this game. Hopefully, it's not too difficult. You know what? Let's also get white sand. I think it'll look better. But yeah, I think a tall standing structure in a square box will look really cool. So hopefully, I can get this done right. Oh my god, this is as small as I can go. Okay, this might be too small. But I think, I think I'm onto something here. I was hoping to add like a little, some legs. We're gonna have to do like thin legs though. Oh, I really am bothered that I can't drop things in this game now. But I might need to go like this way. Oh no, there's no flat sides. I thought this was the perfect rock choice. It was until I realized this. Let's see, hold on. If we, if we can static item and balance. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <gasps> oh, aha. That shouldn't be standing up, but I'll take it. God damn it, man. Every, every time I get excited. All right, well, we have kind of legs. This is this is going to be a freaking nightmare, man. All right, look at that, dude. This is great. I don't got to worry about stocking. I'm earning $1,000 a day already with only two freaking aquariums. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Ah, uh, oh, that's so frustrating. It's so far over. This is going to take me forever. I might even need to put an extra rock on the one leg because it's a little lopsided. I was hoping being that this rock is a little lopsided, I could use it, but oh! Oh! It's beautiful! Uh, it's a little front. Oh, god damn it. It's not that beautiful. Alright, hold on. We have to get it further in the back. Problem is, it's probably gonna fall backwards now. I wonder, hold on. I could put a temp rock down. Oh, god damn it. I'm so used to dropping it on the counter. It takes me forever to figure it out. But if I put a temp rock on the back just to balance on and then delete that rock, we can definitely float it. All right, so we got a massive freaking seashell here. Perfect. Oh, it's so flat and beautiful. Okay, do not pick it up. Do not pick it up. Oh, that's as good as I'm going to get it. That's going to look so cool. Thank you, seashell, for your help. And thanks for the $13 back. Okay, I don't know how high I want to go. But this is looking so cool. Problem is I don't want to change the rock color because I think that would look really weird. So essentially all I have is this guy, this guy. These are two brown and then these uh, weird shaped ones. All right. Now if we can balance this on top of this. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Big brain move. So I have this flat rock. 
that if I can attach it... Oh, it's a little big, though. Um, shut up. I have bigger problems. Yes. All right, so let's just try that. I kind of like... That's like an arm, actually. That's kind of cool, but I definitely don't want anything hitting the backdrop. So now we should be able to simply just kind of balance this on here. Like so. Make that static and get my scrapey tool. Goodbye. And hello, beautiful. Oh, that, that looks so cool. I love it. All right. Well, I have to open this up to earn some more money. So we'll finish that up once we earn some money right here. Well, we earned less money today, but hey, that's okay. I wonder why we earned less. I actually cleaned up here. Maybe I missed a bottle or two. I'm so glad I decided to try this. This might be my favorite aquarium yet. It's so simple, but so perfect. Uh, I do have to unfortunately add hardware to this, and I think it's going to look bad with it, but I do want some fish in here. So, well, I have to decide what kind of fish I want to, but we'll get this set up and uh, see how much we make with this cool aquarium added to the exhibition. All right, so overall, I'm happy with that. I uh, added two lights here, actually, and just playing with the lighting. It's actually pretty cool. You can get one side that has yellow, one side that has blue. It looks really fancy. I think I like the simple white with a little hint of blue on the one side, though. Uh, yeah, in terms of fish, I think we're gonna go for the angelfish. They just seem like they would fit well in this aquarium. They probably want plants, though, but we'll see. Oh, I don't even have a heater in here, either. That would be smart. Let's get one of those. Oh, okay. I'll just throw fish everywhere. All, all good. All right, we'll turn this up. They're usually, like, 24 is a good spot to go to. Hopefully, you guys don't want plants, because I don't think I'm gonna put... Actually, having some grass by its feet would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any low-lying plants, though. I really hope we get some unlocks soon, because the plant selection is really bothering me. Uh, this is actually good. They would like some plants. Temperature is still going up, so we'll see if it's in the uh, good zone in a second. Yeah, you know what? I'm curious what this looks like with plants now. Let's just get some low-lying plants here. Uh, I think we're gonna do this. Okay, if I add any more plants, they're gonna get pissed off, so let's keep the fish happy here. There's actually not much on the ground, and I am really happy with that weird design. All right, guys, and well, we filled every uh, stand on this side, the ones that have been unlocked at least, so I'm pretty happy with this. I think we had some rather good builds today, this one definitely being my favorite. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the grand opening of my new fancy exhibition, and yeah, in the next episode, hopefully we earn enough to get the big unlock, because I really want to see what that's about, and obviously work our way towards the big 40,000. So we can get the oceanarium because who doesn't want to clean a massive oceanarium actually it sounds really fun so i'm excited about that and i hope you guys are enjoying the journey that is the aquarist as always guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one